Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Born Pretty Overprint L001 swatches. Here is the Born Pretty plate. This is the one with a lot of flowers on it. I'm just going to do some swatching on some pop sticks. Well, actually nail tips. How about that? So I have played with this in some manicures already and decided um, maybe I'd use what I think I learned the first go and uh, see if we can, you know, make these more flower-like instead of blob-like. So I've just got a bunch of Born Pretty polishes out and my AliExpress little stamper. So that one turned out pretty good, but I am going to go back in with a different color on that middle ring of the rose and just add to it. And you can do this in a manicure with these plates. You can just keep kind of layering up until you like it. So there we go with the rose. And now we're going to go in with this next flower. And again, I'm going to tell you, like I've done in other videos where I've swatched stuff, stuff these, these aren't really... I'm not trying to like make designs and patterns and colors. I just want to show you guys what these look like stamped out. So I'm just using whatever colors, you know. Some of them actually do look really good together, but some of them you you might look at them and think, oh, I'd never I'd never wear that. <laughs> and that's okay. Cause some of them I might not would wear, but some of them I would. So there we go with that one. And I'm just hoping that. Um, these these layering plates are, are you know I'm doing it right you know I've told you guys before I know a lot of us are intimidated by these plates but you know you just you just work with it play with it there's no right or wrong way as long as you end up with liking the results so that one was kind of thin looking I scraped a little too hard so I'm just double doing it just so that you know we can get a get a decent swatch out of it there we go it's kind of basic I think that one would look really good like if you did multiples on a nail I am getting more comfortable with these plates um, after I played with them on actual manicures uh, you know I think I learned quite a bit about you know oh I should have started with this image first and I think that's all you got to do with these is just kind of you know, work through it and play with it. I mean, I still don't know that I'm doing all of them 100% right, but I'm playing with them. I'm having fun. And to me, that's what it's all about. Nail art is all about having fun for me. Now, if I end up with a really gravy manicure, hot diggity dog, you know. So... But I really do like this because it's it's different than doing reverse stamping or just straight up stamping. You can just add so much dimension to that. Look how I mean it's just it's it's so cool. And there's so many companies out there making plates like this now that you know that you've got so many options, so many images. So there we go. But I am really liking the quality of these. I haven't had any issues really with anything not picking up. Now I am bad about over scraping on the white or you know full coverage images like that white one that I double stamped but really they're picking up really well. And I'm not using a fancy stamper or anything this is just one of those little cheap stampers from AliExpress and um, it's working just fine. I'm not using you know like specific polishes that I know stamp well or anything. I'm just using the Born Pretty stamping polishes and, and I do like them that I purchased them years ago and decided, you know, since there were so many colors that I would just play with them today, I should be able to find something in that lot that will work for all of these. And some of my color choices, again, are not, you know, uh, perfect, but gives you an idea of what they you know stamp like 
I will at the end of the video show you all of the swatches. I will kind of pan through them real quick and let you see what's going on with them, how they turned out. I am just reuse, reusing um, these little nail tips from the nail wheels when I swatch polishes or collections or whatever. I've just snapped them all off the wheel and put them into a little cup on my desk. And when I do these kind of videos where I'm swatching plates, I'm going to pull them out and just, it is what it is. I have no idea what they are. Um, I just had years of little nail wheels of polishes that I've swatched that I figured would work great for this. Repurposing them. <laughs> so I don't know what any of these polishes are. I guess that's what I'm trying to say is if you ask me, well, what's that gold? I, I, I won't know because I, I don't, It's there's no telling when I did it. <laughs> just use whatever gold you have. If you like one of these images or whatever that I do, just go with something similar. See, I, I scraped too hard on that one too. We're going to try to make it work anyway. I have trouble with those. I'm just so heavy handed. Bumping right along. Now see, I like that. I like the way that looks. Not so much the brown in the back, but I like that image and how well it's doing. So cool. crazy looking <clears throat> and this one I don't really know if it went up to the tops of those other ones that I just did but um, I'm just gonna double stamp just this one image on top of itself um, kind of catty offset just a little bit because uh, I, I didn't really know what that one went to it very well could have gone to that other one or you could use it for other of these flower images there we go. Got some green leafy going on. And then now we're doing the butterfly. I will be doing the other plates that I got from uh, Born Pretty. Uh, there's one that's got a lot of butterfly images and one that's got a lot of leaf images. So I am going to work my way through them for you so you can see how they work, how they look. Love the butterfly image. How cute. Got some white over my greenery, but whatever. It'll be alright. Well, that didn't show up too well. We're going to go in with some gold on that one. <laughs> we're going to kind of double stamp that image, too. Sometimes you just don't know until you do it. And, uh, that's what we're working with today. And that one's not like my bestest, but it did do. And now for the last set of layering. These look kind of like lilies. Flower ex finista, uh, whatever. But I do like it. Very last one, here we go. Slide it down some. pretty. I love that one. So here we go with my swatches. I hope you enjoyed seeing these and uh, you know leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this plate. Uh, I know that we've been talking a lot about these plates here lately because I have done manicures with them but I am curious to know if 
you know, you've got any of these kind of plates and how you like them or, you know, that kind of thing. There we go. That's my favorite. <laughs> so here's my little swatch photo of all of them together. I hope you enjoyed this one. And that is all I have for today. So until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.